Hey guys, Hector here from uh, strongsec.com with this week's Movement Monday episode. Today we're going to be covering a uh, hip flexor stretch from half kneeling. So hip flexor stretch uh, is great um, after doing uh, exercises like deadlifting, uh, swings, snatching, but it's also great if you've been sitting for quite a long period of time. So the any time that we begin to sit for a long period of time, That begins to tighten all of the muscles in the front of the body, also known as the anterior part of the body. So the muscles like the pecs, uh, the front part of the shoulders, and the hip flexors. Since your your hips are flexed, um, that begins to tighten all the muscles in the front, but then it also starts to weaken all of the muscles in the back of the body, like the upper back, uh, the lower back the glutes, all that becomes weakened. So this creates what's called a muscle imbalance. You can also refer to those tightened muscles as overactive muscles, and you can consider the muscles that are weak or that have become weakened from this, from sitting, underactive. Okay, so that creates this muscular imbalance. So hip flexor stretch is great for um, for opening the hip up, okay, because the hip flexor, and the glute are neurally connected. So if the hip flexor becomes tight, more than likely the glute is weakened and you're not going to be able to extend your hips all the way through um, for exercise like deadlift, swings, snatches, etc. But this can also start to cause low back problems because you now go into this anterior pelvic tilt And that starts to kind of tug on the lower back. So that can start to cause other problems down the road. But we're just going to go through a very simple hip flexor stretch here and go over a couple of details um, on on how to make this very effective and a couple of things that you want to avoid. So you're going to be in a half kneeling position. So half kneeling is one knee down and one leg up. So you're basically like in this, you're in this this 90-90, Uh, degree position. I got a 90 degree angle on my front leg and pretty much a 90 degree angle on my back leg. Okay. So um, one thing that you notice I'm doing here is I, you can notice that my pelvis changes and I, I'm, I'm tucking my pelvis underneath. Okay. So right about here, you can see how my glutes come out. And then you'll notice that I squeeze my glutes right there. And the moment that I contract my glutes, that puts my hip flexor on stretch. Okay, So when I contract my glute, it is going to release the hip flexor. Okay, So it's going to, what they call reciprocal inhibition. So it's going to inhibit the hip flexor, it's going to open it up, and it's going to allow my hip to go through extension. Okay. And then once we put that glute on, once we fire this glute here, okay, and I now have my hip flexor on stretch, I'm now going to go through a very small range of motion, and I'm going to slightly move forward. And you'll notice it's a very slight um, it's a very slight movement. So I'm not going to be lunging all the way forward. I'm going to go really slow right about there. From here, right about there. Very small range of motion. And that's my hip flexor stretch. And so what you notice I did here is I released my glute. Once I contract the glute, I go into the stretch I breathe through it, I come out, I relax the glute after that, okay? And then I'm just going to re-tighten, so I'm pointing here to my glute, kind of letting you know to re-tighten the glute. You see my pelvis tuck underneath, that puts the hip flexor back on stretch once again. Keep my posture up, and then I enter that very slow range of motion. Bang. Right about there. See that? Boom. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of go through this a couple more times. You see me recontract the glute. 
Now I'm going to show you what not to do. You don't want to just kind of go through this deep, deep lunge. <laughs> I'm making a stupid face here. Um, you don't want to go through this deep lunge here because what happens is I'm basically now hanging off the ligaments of my lower back. And what appears to be what appears to be a hip flexor stretch, I am actually really just kind of hanging off the ligaments on my lower back. And that is not good at all. Okay. So to correct that, you want to be in a 90-90. Okay. So 90 degree here, 90 degree here. Make sure my hips are squared. Contract the glute. Bam. And then I go right through that small range of motion. I relax the glute. And then I'm going to switch sides and I'm going to repeat on the other side. Okay. So first things first, contract the glute. This puts the hip flexor on stretch. You see my pelvis tuck right there. And I'm going to go through that really small range of motion. So notice my pelvic tilt. You see how my pelvis completely changes right there. Contract the glute. You will feel immediately the stretch that gets put on your hip flexor. And you go through range of motion. Very small range of motion. And I'd probably recommend going through about maybe five to ten times. Again, I'm, I'm cueing there. Contract the glute. And then what not to do, right? I'm not going to lunge forward just to be hanging off of my lower back with what appears to be a hip flexor stretch, okay? That can start to create problems. Check out that weird face. <laughs> that can start to create problems here in my lower back and um, do a lot more damage, uh, do more harm than good, okay? So to correct that, we want a 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle here, contract the glute, get the hip flexor to release, and we go through about yeah, three to five or more, whatever feels, until you feel like you've got a good release um, out of your hip flexor. And doing this between deadlifts, doing this between swings and snatches is, um, is going to really help with your recovery between training sessions. And that, that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, give that a try. Let us know how it goes. If you've been enjoying these videos, I highly recommend uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can stay up to date with our Movement Mondays, our Technique of the Week, and our Workout of the Weeks that I do on a weekly basis. You can also find more of this material on my blog that's in the comment section below. And I've also put uh, a few links to my blog for some more free resources where I uh, share a lot of uh, my own kettlebell workouts. We've got a five-day fat incinerator challenge. I've got a lot of deadlift resources as well. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, I'm Hector with HeartStyle and StrongestHeck.com's tech, uh, not technique, movement Monday.